Hello friends, I do have a collective haul and I'm shooting with my new phone. So hopefully the quality is better because it does look better from my end. But anyways, we do have a collective haul from Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Bath and Body. And somehow on Sunday, we ended up spending $137.56 at Walmart plus tax came out to $149.60 just at Walmart. And we didn't even get anything special. So I don't even understand how this happened. Seriously. <laughs> when they rang us up, I just literally, my mouth fell open. I cannot believe that, you know, it came out to $150. But I will show you what we picked up for $150. And honestly, we didn't pick up any food. This is just like our monthly Walmart run. All right, so let's get into the quick stuff, and that is going to be, I'm going to show you, I just picked up two little items at Dollar Tree, but they are super cute, and I'll be picking up more of these as I go along. And the first item is this really super cute tin. You all know how much I have been loving the um, snowmen, and I absolutely adore the red truck with the tree. North Pole this way. So to be able to get both in one is really cool. I did not realize that was damaged and that bugs me. I'm really, really picky when it comes to stuff like that, but that's okay. And look at the side. You have of the camper and I, this one has to be my favorite camper right there. You also have the beautiful um, snowflakes and you have the Christmas trees and this is from Dollar Tree. Now what I'm going to do with this is honestly I will put either cookies or baked goods in here and give those away as presents or I will put um, some tissue paper in there and put my present in there because that way they can use the tin again and so that is why I chose this one. Now on our Instagram I did pick, take pictures of all the tins and of course there are the regular round ones, but the ones that I am looking for are the square ones because I think they're just super cute for gift giving. All right, and the next one that I picked up, how adorable is this one? It's poisettas, and I really like it because, you know what, I can't get it open with one hand, but I'm gonna show it to you. It looks like a jewelry box, look at that. And it has little hinges on the back so I'm going to open it up so we can see what it looks like inside. And again, this is perfect for either putting knickknacks on your dresser and you want to make your whole bedroom look like Christmas, which is basically what I'm going to be doing. And this would look really cute um, either on my nightstand or on my dresser. And again, really a cute gift. You can put like I said, baked goods, or you can put the present inside the tin. And these are from Dollar Tree, and I'm not done buying more because there's so many different cute prints. Please check out our Instagram. All right, I'm going to open these babies up. And this is what the poinsettia one looks like, and I love how it is this great box. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't... They have different size boxes. Now this is the biggest box that I found for a dollar, so of course I picked it up. And you all know I do like poinsettias, and this is more of a classical Christmas. Now I am gonna be looking for this type of style box in this style, because I absolutely love this style. And again, there's that little dent. I don't know if it happened in transit with me, but it's still great to give for a gift. But if I could find the box with the hinges in this style that is going to be super neat and also there's a couple of other styles that I'm on the hunt for in this type of box look so this is what I picked up at Dollar Tree I just grabbed these two items because um, I'm not sure what motif I'm gonna go with but um, I have already hauled a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree but I did want to show you these two items and yeah I don't think I've seen anyone else haul these yet super cute all right now we're gonna get into Dollar General just two items but really cool stuff and I did pick up the red truck candle. There was only two left when we were doing our Dollar General walkthrough. If you have not checked out our Dollar General walkthrough, it is, it is part one, it is really good, and everyone seems to be enjoying it, so I highly encourage you to check it out. 
All right, the red truck, it was $6, and it has the adorable candle. And of course, I did not get it for the candle because I am gonna burn the candle, obviously, but I can obviously scoop out that wax, clean it up, and I can use this um, again for a couple of more Christmases. I'm not sure what I can do as far as a DIY. If any of you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section because once this burns out, maybe I can you know, glue a tree in there, maybe put a wreath in front. But again, I did get it for the red truck itself and it is a bonus to have the candle in it. Also, this makes for a great gift for $6. So that is just a thought right there. And yay, I found Ollie's, I found Ollie's um, initial. Now I just need to find my husband and I think we'll be set. Of course, I cannot remember where I put my nephew and my sisters <laughs> and my brother-in-laws because everything gets lost here. But um, here's Ollie's ornament. And isn't that cute for a dollar from um, Dollar General? And that is not all that I picked up from Dollar General. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm so excited to show this to you, so hold on. And please excuse the background. That is not how my background is gonna look. Right now we are still putting up our harvest pictures, but I did pick up this big Noel sign and it does light up. This is only, it was only $10 and I did show it in the video. I just did not let you guys know that I was gonna be getting it. And this is gonna be going in front of my fireplace. I absolutely love it. It is, um, distressed white and it has the Noel obviously in the red and black check and then you just have the applique of a holly and some berry and I'm gonna light it up but let's see if I can I'm not gonna be able to get the whole sign lit up right now but what's cool is it also stands on its own right there so that is really neat as well and let's see so that's what it's gonna look like when it's all lit up, it is battery run, and I cannot wait to put this up. Hopefully, Ollie's big butter butt will not knock it down, but I have a feeling he will. So this is what I purchased at Dollar General. I am not done at Dollar General. As a matter of fact, we're going to be making our way over there soon because there is so much more cool stuff that they are bringing out for Christmas. All right, and then there's a couple of miscellaneous items I wanna show you, and then we're gonna get into the Walmart. So I actually have to go back to Bath & Body because I've earned a free gift worth, I think, $14.50 or sixteen fifty, something in that range. But I decided that I wanted to shoot this haul now, so I was not gonna wait for me to go back and get my free rewards. But this is Snickerdoodle, and I don't understand why my camera is not focusing. I'm sorry, it's sugared snickerdoodle. And of course, this is from Bath and Body Works. And it smells so good. I kind of forgot what it smelled like. So we are going to see what it smells like. And I wish my camera would focus. That is really, really annoying. So I do apologize. Okay, it smells heavenly. So now I know why I did choose this one. And I believe these were 10 off. So these were like 14 a piece. And then I think I had like 20% off. So again, this is one of my autumn candles that, um, I don't know, I'll probably be burning next, next month or maybe this month because we have a, we have a lot of bath and body candles and just a lot of candles in general, but oh my gosh, do these make our house smell so good. All right, I also purchased another candle and I also received a little miniature free gift while I was there at Bath & Body last time. So I just had to have the blueberry maple pancake and especially, I absolutely love this top. It has the pumpkin, it has the leaves. And again, these were $10 off because I believe they're normally like, yeah, they're $24.50. So they're a little bit pricey unless you get them on sale. Three wick candles and oh, ah, mm. uh, that smells exactly like blueberry maple pancakes. Um, 
I don't know. I might light this one up tonight. Cannot. I totally forgot I even had these. So super excited that I found them underneath my <laughs> dining room table because I knew that I had a little Bath and Body haul to show you. But like I said, I've been trying to make my way over there for my um, free gift, but I just have not gotten out that way. So these are the two candles that I picked up. And like I said, I did get a free lotion and... I did pick up, ooh, I forgot about this too. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I'm actually going to throw this one in my um, Maleficent backpack and take out my summer one. Let's see what this smells like. I know this is one of my favorite scents, but I love having a travel size lotion in my backpack. Oh, mm, you know what? I might have to go and get another um, bigger lotion. This smells so good, but... I already have a lot of Bath and Body, so anyways. But you know what? I love the candles, and now the Christmas stuff is out, so I'm just going to go crazy. I cannot wait to start getting their Christmas soaps and candles. All right. Um, I also want to show you really quick the Levi jacket that now is all Hello Kittyed out. So I told you I would show it to you, so I will do that right now as well. So instead of paying 100 I think this like is 105 by Levi and it's just a jacket and it has the um, Hello Kitty well like I said my husband bought me an extra small and Levi this is a real Levi jacket and then they had given us the patch and this was in New York and when we came back to California my mother-in-law used to be a seamstress so she did sew it on in the middle and now you really cannot tell the difference between the $105 version and my version. Um, this Levi jacket cost, I think, like $34.99. And they gave my husband the patch for free because he had purchased a hat and some other items from the Hello Kitty Levi collection. And I made my own Levi jacket. I absolutely love it. And I have been wearing it. And it is super cute, super light, and really fun to wear. All right, and I'll show you really quick. My husband did surprise me with a really cute top, and then we're going to get into the Walmart haul. So my husband bought me this really cute Minnie Mouse pink and black shirt, and you all know that pink and black is my favorite. He did get this at Walmart, and it is a size medium, and I'm actually going to be saving this to wear for when we go to Disneyland because I'm going to be wearing a turtleneck under it, and because it is big, it'll be really cool to layer it and let's see how much this was this was $12.97 and yeah I absolutely my favorite colors are pink and black and I love Hello Kitty I love Minnie Mouse so this will definitely be perfect to wear to Disneyland and you'll see the tops that well actually we bought a top at Walmart which I'll be showing you right now that I plan to wear underneath it and I think this will look really cute with some yoga pants and some cute Uggs. And I will be ready to roll to Disneyland. All right. Now we're getting into the Walmart haul. All right. So this caddy by Better Homes and Gardens was $22.39. Now, my husband and I have two different ways of shopping. Um, I initially said, why don't we go check out Home Goods or Ross? Or, you know, just another place. And my husband is more of the mindset, we're already here, let's just get it. So that's how we ended up paying $22.39 for a shower caddy. Yes. Um, on the flip side, you can move this around and so forth. That's what these knobs are for. And we'll see if it's worth the $22. Um, I'd rather would have gone to Bed Bath & Beyond but this is what we ended up with. And honestly, you know, it's not shabby or anything. I just kind of think it's overpriced. And I wanted a new handle for the toilet paper holder for our master bathroom. So I did choose this by Better Homes and Garden. And this is $12.97. And they did have the whole set. But for some reason, the whole set just looked um, really chintzy. Whereas... This toilet paper holder, it looks pretty decent and it will actually match um, the shower curtain rod that we have. 
and there goes my caddy. It's not a haul until something drops. So that was another item that we purchased for the bathroom. And again, this was $12.97. So you can see how everything starts to add up little by little. And this black, plain black top is a size medium. It is V-neck. It was only $6.97. It was on clearance. And it is that material that is meant to keep you nice and warm. And this is what I was talking about when I said that I would be layering up underneath my cute um, mini shirt. And yeah, so this is a really nice fabric and it will still keep me warm and it is perfect for winter and for layering. And I do like the fact that it's V-neck instead of just the crew neck or the round neck. And this was $6.97 on the clearance rack. So that was, if anything, that was one deal that we managed to get. And I needed some cleansers. So I did get the clean shower, daily shower cleanser because I do... I constantly spray down our showers and I also do like the scrubbing bubbles mega shower foamer and I also needed this for our hardwood floors because we do not have carpeting everything is either um, well it's, it's hardwood floors so we picked this up and I believe this was like eight dollars so let me get our receipt like I said everything started adding up really quickly and I do love these Lysol um, little I don't know, doodads that you put in the toilet bowl instead of just adding those drops in the tank. I think these work really, really well. And um, yeah, we've never had a problem. So I decided to get it just in the original Atlantic Fresh scent. And I did get three of the Mr. Cleans, two times stronger, because I find that these do really work. And let me get, where did the receipt disappear to? Hold on, because I will tell you how much all of this is starting to add up to. Okay, and I found the receipt. It fell behind the freezer. That was not a fun time. Okay, so we are looking at the large caddy, like I said, was $22.84. And we also, the Mr. Clean was only $2.94, so that's not bad. And we also picked up Tide Pods for $11.97. So let me show you those. All right, these Tide Pods we get, let me see. It's the four in one cold clean water. And I'm trying to see how many pods we get. We get 32 for 11, for $12, $11.94. We usually get these at um, Costco. But like I said, we did not want to be making two trips. And I'm looking to see how much the Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean was $2.94. So that is not bad, and I am checking to see how much my floor cleaner was, because I know this was like around $8, and I also did get a new mop, which I'm going to show you right now. And if any of you can recommend anything for hardwood floors, please let me know. Okay, so the floor cleaner is only $5.98, and these filters, which we have to get because, well, obviously we need these filters, um are $19.64. So like I said, everything just starts to add up really, really quick at um, Walmart. And no, I do not coupon, but I'm thinking about getting into it because like I said, I think this is just a ridiculous amount that we spent on Sunday. And as you all know, I do have allergies. So we did get the twin pack for $6.98. And I also stocked up on some of our favorite um, wax melts. And this is Better Homes and Guard Limited Edition Smoked Caramel Fireside. I'm sorry about my voice. And I also picked up Scent Sensationals. And this is limit, Limited Edition Fall Fetty. These are all new. We have not burned these yet. Except I think we have... Oh wait, no, not this one either. Pecan Pie Bars. Again, we're going with all fall scents. These are $2 a piece, and we have like two scentsies running at all times. Um, Festive Bubbly. Doesn't that look so cute? And again, the limited edition. So I kind of started mixing in some Christmas with fall, and this is super cute as well. Seasons Greetings, and this is Sweet Cinnamon and Pistachio. Are now, Sweet Cinnamon Sweet cinnamon, and I have no idea how to pronounce that. So if you guys know, let me know. And make it pop. And the last one that we picked up, or actually I picked up, 
pumpkin marshmallow topping. These all just smell really awesome. My husband doesn't really care which, um, you know, which wax melt I pick out. All right, I'm going to show you guys my mop, and I don't know if I'm even going to like it, but we'll see. And Equate Razors were $4.98. Those are my favorite. And then I just needed some Equate Panty Liners. This is just their generic. $54 come in a box. And let me see. Equate, I think they were like maybe two something. Sorry, I cannot see it right now. Oh, here we go. What $1.98. So that is not bad. Now I'm going to show you my mop. And this is seriously what cost $139. I just cannot get over it. So actually my mop was only $19. So it's not that bad. And it, of course, um, it's cloth and you can put in your, fork, your floor cleaner and spray it. And yeah, I mean, I don't even, it's called an O... Oh, oh, cedar. I don't even know if that's a name brand. All right. So everything on here, with the exception of the little um, a black V-neck top that my husband got me, this is what added up to $139 at Walmart. Craziness. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to share our, our monthly Walmart haul with you and also to show you guys that like I said, um, I do not haul a lot of cleansers at from the 99 because we do a monthly Walmart. And this time around, we just did not need that much for the shower because I am fully stocked. I have so much cleansers, it's not even funny. And like, I honestly prefer to get our Tide in the big pods at um, Costco. But like I said, my husband just wanted to get it right then and there. And I always get wax melts at um, Walmart. All right, my friends, I just wanted to share this little haul with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing more stuff like this. And I don't know. We'll see how I can start saving money at Walmart. Because I think this is way too much. Especially since it's just my husband and I. And there's no way that it should be costing this much for little monthly items. Okay, please set your notifications. And if you haven't already checked out our home goods. Um, Christmas walkthrough. It is really fun. That is another one that I have to go back and film. And tomorrow, of course, I will be posting a another video. Who knows where we will end up. So please make sure you have your notifications on and go ahead and please hit those thumbs up because it's free advertisement for our channel. As you all know, our channel is now the queen. Why? Because we're all queens. And like I said, our channel has evolved and we are not just about the 99 cent store anymore. So it was time to change our name. All right, my friends, it is Dady Poo tonight. So I am going to go get ready and I will see you all tomorrow. Check out our Instagram. A lot of cool stuff on there. Thank you so much. As always, have a great day or a great evening. Bye bye, my friends.